Hey guys, it's Christina. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and another video. So this video um, is pretty special to me. Um, I hadn't been planning on making it and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So this video is going to be veganizing one of my favorite childhood dishes that my mom used to make for me. I had been scrolling on Instagram one day and I saw that like the ninja pan was doing a giveaway and all you had to do was like po make a post about recipe of me which is like a, a dish that's close to you like culturally so i'm half italian half M mauritian but and my mom is the mauritian side um for those who don't know mauritius mauritian is people from mauritius mauritian is an island off the coast of africa but um, my love of cooking really did like start with my mom. So I immediately honed in on something my mom used to make. But the thing is, I was such a picky eater as a kid that there were a lot of Mauritian food that she did make. Um, I never really even tried because I uh, was just so picky as a kid. Um, you know, the typical like hot dog, mac and cheese, like chicken tenders type of thing um pasta with only butter sauce which uh my italian side of the family did not like but anyway so i was thinking i was thinking about what she made would make for me that i would love and she used to make something called portuguese rice which is so not intuitive because you're like okay so you're telling me your mom's from mauritius but the only dish that you liked that she would cook is something called Portuguese rice. And yes, I am saying that. Mauritius, island off the coast of Africa, it's been colonized a bunch, which means it has a bunch of different um, food influences. And some of those are Portuguese. So yes, here is my video veganizing my mom's Portuguese rice. So Portuguese rice. Portuguese rice is a dish I think that is traditionally made with some type of Portuguese smoked sausage and then basically rice that's been like boiled in a like smoky paprika tomato pasty situation. It is kind of like the perfect dish to make that a mom could make their child. And what's even funnier about that is so I, once I realized this is what I wanted to make, I googled it. Because I'm like, is this a real dish or like did my mom just make up the name for it? It is a real dish. And the first recipe I saw was some an article from a food blog article thing from Food 52 that was literally titled Mom's Portuguese Rice. So I love that about food. Like that's so fantastic to me that like I was thinking about my mom's Portuguese rice and I typed in Portuguese rice and a recipe called mom's Portuguese rice popped up like that. pretty freaking cool but yeah so I took that recipe as my starting point and I made it vegan so I'll have that recipe linked below and you can see how I make it now uh by the way I missed the deadline for that giveaway because I got the dates wrong but this video is still here anyway <laughs> So traditionally Portuguese rice is made with smoked sausage, but the way my mom actually always made it was with um, thick cut bacon. So that's what I'm doing in this veganized version of the way she used to make it. I'm gonna make some tofu bacon. I start off making a marinade of soy sauce, liquid smoke, smoked paprika, umami seasoning, pepper and some oil and maple syrup. <laughs> I don't know why I said that weird. Maple syrup. And then I just cut a block of tofu into um, bacon-like strips and gently toss that in the marinade. It's okay if it breaks a little because it is going to break down as it cooks with the rice anyway, but I don't know. I was just trying to preserve that bacon strip uh, look for as long as possible. So I let that sit in my fridge for a few hours, but if you don't have a few hours, half hour is fine. And then yeah, the great thing about this recipe is it is a one pot recipe and you can cook the tofu in the same pot as everything else. So I added some butter to my pot pan thingamabob and then just uh, sauteed my tofu in the butter for a few few minutes on each side until it got the color that I desired 
you can see it here. Look at that. Um, again, this is supposed to be mimicking bacon, so definitely be generous with the amount of butter you let the tofu cook in. And then when the tofu is done, just put it on a plate to sit for a bit. And then we're on to the rice already. I love this dish because not only is it one pot, it's using pantry staples and it really does not require a lot of prep so I just cut up one uh, white onion and let that go in some oil for a bit and while the oil while the oil was cooking while the onion was cooking I then chopped up one red bell pepper any color is fine I just decided to go with red today and it's great because yeah you don't have to do too much pre-chopping or prep you can just kind of cook as you go which is honestly my favorite way to cook I don't like to do too much prep ahead of time if I can help it so then once my bell pepper is cut I just add that to my onions and then now is the perfect time to salt and pepper because we want to add seasoning and flavor to every level of this dish as we go after we season the onions and the pepper and let that cook down we can add our tofu bacon back in. And if you don't want to do tofu bacon, feel free to do um, any other type of store-bought bacon or like I said, this is traditionally made with sausage. So do like a soy riso or like a beyond sausage. Anything is fine. Just, just do you. Make this dish whatever you want because that's definitely what my mom did as well. So another thing um, that I don't think I'm going to show or end up showing is that since this was my first attempt to veganize the dish I did end up playing with the seasonings and the flavor as um, I went along so the recipe I was following called for smoked paprika and then I did add smoked paprika but I realized like, it wasn't smoky enough so I added liquid smoke as well and then that made it a little bit too smoky. So I think what I actually would do the next time I made this is I would use regular paprika and then the liquid smoke. Um, I just think that would be better. I think the liquid smoke really did add something to it, but just the combination of having those two smoked things is slightly too much. But yeah, after I added my tofu bacon back in and that smoked paprika, I added some tomato paste. A pretty generous amount. The amount will be in the description below. But yeah, so this is typically a vegan dish, but between all the smoky flavors between paprika and our tofu bacon and this tomato paste that um, creates so much umami as it cooks, there really is just, yeah, no shortage of that savory... Uh, flavor even though there's no meat in it so then after we add the tomato paste and let that just cook a little bit we add the rice in and then some originally it should be chicken broth but you could use veggie broth or what I did was use the better than bouillon no chicken bouillon so once your broth is added in just put that on high heat and let it come to a boil this is about the time I started doing some taste testing and playing around with the seasonings and I also decided to add two bay leaves as well so once it comes to a boil you can add it to your oven and it can be in the oven uh, until it's cooked which is about 40 minutes so shocked right now I went to shower while the rice was cooking in the oven and I come down and it just smells like my childhood down here oh it's not done yet but I can't believe it I, I didn't know I could smell the smell again so here it is I took it out of the oven and then left it covered for 10 minutes to thicken up a little it's still quite saucy but this is totally um, adjustable. Just add a little bit less broth. I added three and a half cups. Just add maybe three. And you can have it a little bit less saucy if that is your wish. But this is perfect. It, it smells just like I remembered. Um, and it's still versatile. Feel free to add anything else to it. Peas, some type of green. So for tonight, I will be having it with some sweet potato fries. But... Other days this week I'll have it with uh, other vegetables or like a salad. Oh, I cannot wait to dig in. So there.
there you have it guys that is a veganized version of portuguese rice um it is the perfect one pot dish it is absolutely fantastic for meal prep because one pot it makes four to six servings off the bat extremely customizable freeze as well good as a side dish good as a main dish good for like a burrito filling or tacos or anything like that even just ex extremely versatile um i really hope you enjoyed it i loved the way it came out um i'm excited to tweak it a little bit more i think i do think i remember my mom used to add peas to it so i'm also used to like i'm also looking forward to tweaking it more to match what she did but yeah if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up um and subscribe i'm a new channel so it does help support me a lot and um i really love um connecting with people through food on here so um if you like that too i'm just knocked over something if you like that too subscribe so you don't miss another video um but yeah until next time my friends bye